Launceston's Best Mix 89.3 LAFM. It's 18 to 9. You've got Jules for breakfast and I am being joined this morning by some company. Well, for a start, that's exciting. We've got Sticky and Sam from The Amazing Race Australia and, of course, you're both from Lonnie as well. Mm-hmm. That's us, mm-hmm. yeah. Good morning. to be here. Good to see you. Not that anyone else can see you at the moment. Now, I was watching The Amazing Race last night. Gee, there's some interesting characters on it. First of all, how hard was it actually getting on the show? Um, it was a really long process, actually. All we were pretty much doing was watching last year's episode. Yep. And then they said, I'll apply. And we are like, oh, that'll be easy. We'll do that. And <laughs> took, took about a three-page long questionnaire and then just a number of interviews that went for about two months and then... Oh, my goodness. Just all this different stuff. Yeah, it took forever. Yeah, the thing is we didn't uh, even nearly apply in the end because we had to submit a three-minute video of ourselves um, just basically talking about each other and uh, we were having trouble uploading it to their website and it was the last night before the due date and we uh, wasn't working so we sort of went out for a bit of tea and we said, oh, if it's uploaded by the time we get back, good. If it's not stuff, we're not we going to apply. Yeah. yeah. So we got home and it was all good, so lucky. Do you think the reason you got on was your your stunning good looks or your personality <laughs> i think it was my um personality more than anything i don't think it was anything to do with sicky's one arm at no, all <laughs> no, none at all you actually think that don't you yeah we're on food because i've got one hand we know that well wasn't that a lucky thing then <laughs> yeah it's the luckiest thing ever oh look i have been watching the show can you tell me intimately well as intimately as you can about some of the characters because i have kind of been watching it but i've also been watching <coughs> just quietly the block as well luckily it's over now so i will be avidly watching you guys even more so but sarah hello i felt like i was watching the american or the hollywood version of of the amazing race yeah we actually don't mind sarah like we went to melbourne uh, a couple of months ago and we stayed with sarah and james over there so we got along real well with them um, not getting along real well, well with them at the moment, though. Why? We're having a little bit of a Twitter war, sort yeah. of. Yeah, because um, you probably saw on the preview last night, Grace goes and steals Sarah's cab in yes, Paris. Yes, So Sarah's holding a little bit of a grudge about that, and she's sort of bringing all the other contestants in on it, saying that everyone hates Grace now, which is just not true. So I sort of had a bit of a go at her and put her back in her place. So, so you know you've made it when you're on Twitter. <laughs> you guys are famous. That is fantastic. Yeah, sure. Nearly got 200 followers. Yeah, we were. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I'm going to have to get your autograph after yeah, this, okay. guys. Yeah. Now, look, one thing I've done this week was to ask um, our listeners to actually send in their amazing questions for you guys. So can I throw a couple at you? Go for it. All right, this one is from Jenna. If you had to team up with Paul or Sarah, which one would you pick? Um... <laughs> In Turkey, I'd probably team up with Sarah so we can go to the bars. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and soap her down. Yeah, yeah, that'd be all right. Uh, okay, so if you weren't in Turkey? <laughs> Still probably Sarah, actually, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely Sarah. Wouldn't even have to think about it. No. How old is Sarah? 50-something, I think. <laughs> Are you serious? No, no she looks But it. she looks that way because of all the work done. Because generally if you're in Hollywood and you're even over 40, it makes you look like you're 70 because you've had all the work done. Mm. Anyway, let's leave her alone <laughs> for now. Uh, let's pick one here from Laura. She's got... <laughs> Are the bags that you're seen with really all you're allowed to take? They are 100% what we're allowed to take. We've got absolutely everything that we took with us in there. So if we sort of lose them, then we're a bit stuffed. Like mm. Before we went away, we had a bit of a um, practice run around the park in Sydney and like we had to drive this car a little bit and we ended up leaving our bags in the boot there and we went to the pit stop and Grant's had a go at us. But, mm. yeah, so if you lose what you've got on your back, that's it. You're stuffed. Yep. Yeah. Really? Mm. Now, who's your favourite? This is a question for me now. Who is your favourite besides yourselves to win? Who would you give it to? Yeah, it's a hard one. Like, we get along really well with basically, well, every team we get along really well with, even sometimes. Especially the Paul. cops that you helped out last mm. night trying to find the rugs. Yeah. Yeah, we're nice guys. Yeah, all along the way, um, we've sort of said if it wasn't us, we'd like the cops to win because mm. we got along well with them, probably better than anyone. So, yeah, they're just good, fun blokes to hang around with. And handy to know them in the future too, I'd say. <laughs> mm. um, who, who do you least like? 
It's a, yeah, it's a no, no brainer that Paul. one, Paul. Paul. Yeah. Mm. Everyone hates Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Steve is a really good bloke, his partner, and I think um, they, they're not actually that good of friends in real life. They just sort of work together. They're just mm. pretending. So you, can, you can sort of see when Paul goes on a little bit of a rant, you can see Steve, Steve drop his head his and be a bit embarrassed. <laughs> so I feel a little bit sorry for him because he's a really nice bloke. Now, you're heading off to Paris next week. And uh, what a beautiful city that is. Mm. I was there years ago and I'd love to go back, but <laughs> I need to win lotto or something to get there. <laughs> How's your French for next week? Um, well, we don't really know any. We sung some lyrics from a French song in the taxi <laughs> there. And that's about it. <laughs> oh, okay, well, that's, that's all right then. I remember when I was over there, I had this, it was a beggar, I suppose, on the, on the Metro. And he came up and he was trying to beg for money. And I went, no, thanks, or something like that. And he went, ugh, on- <laughs> Angleterre, thinking I was English because they hate the English apparently. Mm. So I just went, yeah, because <laughs> I knew he'd leave me alone. Oh, fair enough. But good luck for, the, for next week and for the rest of the weeks. But what I'm hoping to do, can you guys come back next Tuesday as well? Definitely. Sure, yeah, we'll yeah. throw some more questions at you then. Go over the previous week's episode <laughs> and um, fingers crossed you actually win. Yeah. And then I really will get your autographs. Yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, Sticky and Sam from The Amazing Race Australia, thank you so much and we'll see you back here next Tuesday. Indeed. Thank you very much. 89.3 LAFM.